Hey everyone, Jacob here. Today we're going to take a quick look at the free version of the NCNetic plugin for Notepad++, which is included with the PC Tuner. This plugin is a great tool for anyone working with CNC machines as it allows you to visualize G code in Notepad++. So first things first, make sure you have Notepad++ and the PC Tuner installed. Once you have both, let's run the PC Tuner to install the NCNetic plugin. So double click the PC Tuner icon to open it, give it a couple seconds to load, then click the Notepad++ icon on the left side of the screen. Next, click the button that says click to configure Notepad++ for CNC use. This will install and enable the NCNetic plugin for Notepad++. Now that the installation is complete, we can close the PC tuner. Now let's open Notepad++ and try out the NCNetic plugin. I already have sample Atlanta opened from the CNC12 example files. To use the NCNetic plugin, you can either click the plot refresh button on the right edge of the menu bar, or you can click the plugins menu at the top of the screen, hover over NCNetic and click plot refresh. This will plot our G code in the new window that appeared on the right. If you make any changes to the G code, remember to click this button again to refresh the plot. Now let's take a look at the NCNetic window. At the top you can see our current position, our current line length, our current feed rate, and our current spindle speed. If we click on one of the lines here, you can see that it refreshed. It's showing us that our current line length is 8.957, our current feed rate is 15, and our current spindle speed is 5000. We can click on any of these lines and see the information update for them. If we want, we can zoom in, we can zoom out using the middle mouse wheel, we can pan around using the middle mouse click, and we can rotate using the right mouse click. If you get it in a weird view, you can double click with any of the buttons and it will reset the view. You can also change the view from plugins. Under NCNetic, you can set it to isometric, XY, XZ, and YZ. So here's what it looks like in isometric. As you can see over on the left side of the screen here, we have our G code, which has been syntax highlighted. So we can see the X is red, the Y is green, the I is red, and the J is green. If we click on any of the lines on the left side of the screen, it'll show us which line it lines up to in the G-code plot on the right. If we make any changes to the G-code, like I said before, you have to click the plot refresh. So for example here, let's change our spindle speed from 5000 to 3000. And then we'll hit plot refresh. We'll change it back to the X, uh, excuse me, the XY view. And if we click in here, we'll see spindle speed is now set to 3000. And that's it. You've seen how to set up and use the NCNetic plugin using the PC Tuner. Give it a try and see how it can improve your workflow. Thanks for watching.